Uh, good morning, everybody. Hello. All students and uh, participants are uh, requested to keep it uh, microphone in mute, except the resource personnel and uh, who are introducer. And uh, I will introduce our speaker within short time, within two minutes, we will start the today's program awareness uh, a program on uh, internships and startups under the banner of institutions innovation council so today's speaker is uh, sri satyakumar palli ceo data tech labs and uh, now uh, it is the time to start. Now it is 10.58. Please allow me two more minutes. And uh, I am happy to inform you that uh, EEE and EC departments uh, students are participating for value added course. Uh, 135 students enrolled. So Satyakumar Paligar is one of the resource personnel under, is, uh, under their stable guidance. Uh, we are uh, our students are energized and uh, reciprocating in a positive way. I am also joining round the clock. Today is the fifth day and uh, assignments also submitted by them. And two more days left. On 31st, there will be an examination on value added course Python programming. And it is going on successfully. And uh, laboratory session, now it is going on today's uh, Theoretical session will be in the evening, afternoon session due to this program. And second year is not disturbed because of this reason. Only third year students and final years are invited for this. Now, without wasting much time, and on behalf of the Mathurusri Engineering College and on behalf of uh, Innovations Innovation Council, Mathurusri Engineering College, and on behalf of EC department, I invite all of you who all are on online mode, virtual mode for this August occasion. And we are gathering today for the benefit and to educate through industry expert the benefits and awareness program on internship startup. The relevance to the industry not only but also for education. Uh, I made a request to our speaker to educate our young minds, third year students, uh, what is an internship, what is a startup and how it is uh, looks into. All these things will be deliberated in the morning session, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And in the afternoon session, our Vamsi and uh, Pavan Kumar and Abhay Joshi, alumni, members and secretary, treasurer, etc. will be discussing same third year students, the opportunities in and around India related to startup. Two to three separate link will be communicated to students and alumni association and faculty. At 1.30 link will be released. Please bear with us. And I thank the organizers and a special thanks to third year teachers and Kunda Praveen for making this grand success. Now, without wasting much time, uh, welcome and good morning to you all for this program. Satyakumar Pali is our speaker. Welcome, sir, for this uh, program. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And it is my privilege to introduce uh, our speaker of the day and uh, brief biography of uh, Sri Satyakumar Pali Garu. The experienced computer vision engineer with a demonstrated history of working in the information technology and services industry, skilled in open CV, video processing, signal processing, medical imaging and image processing, strong engineering professional with a PG focused in VLSI technology from National Institute of 
technology in electronics and information technology kerala experienced data tech lab ceo march 2020 to present day and uh, uh, skilltohire.com co-founder and ceo december 2019 to march 2020 and uh, singsa it private limited one year eight months as senior computer vision engineer and chief executive officer august 18 to march 20 Path Partner Technology Senior Software Engineer Image Signal Processing January 18 to July 18 and uh, Rother for Technology Private Limited Computer Vision Engineer 2017 to December 2017 Wine Your Technologies Image Processing Engineer September 2014 to July 2017 Educational background is like this National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology PGDIP VLSI Technology <coughs> Lenora College of Engineering, Rampachodavaram, PA uh, in uh, East Godavari, B.Tech Electrical and Electronics and Communication Engineering, 2006 to 2010. This is about our speaker. Over to Sachcha Kumar Paliga, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for the brief introduction. Uh, uh, really, I'm, it's my privilege to be here in the part of this uh, uh, program. I see uh, industrial. Uh, Uh, internship and uh, entrepreneurship talk on this one. Uh, I'm glad to be and, uh, part one, of this one. Yeah. One minute, sir. Please, uh, 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 everybody, please uh, switch on video cameras. I will take snapshot and then next banner with the speaker. And at the end, I will take once again another snapshot. Please, all of you, please switch on your videos. One minute. Very nice. Hmm. Ah, uh, Praveen, please take snapshot. This is not coming. Is it over? All students are requested to switch on your video, please. We have to upload this photo to IAC website. Please switch on your video. All students are requested. All students are requested, ma. Once switch on your camera. Once again, sir. Is it mistaken? Are the students also? Ravin, switch on banner. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Sachin Kumar, sir, you can start now. Thank you, sir. Very good morning to all. Uh, thanks for inviting me, and would like to thank all the people organizing this event. And I'm glad to be part of uh, this IIC. Talk on internships and entrepreneurships. So, as you guys know, uh, Mr. Dr. Srinivas also has given me uh, given some introduction about me. 
that is what I am doing. And so, uh, very good morning, a warm good morning to all people. And uh, the organizers, could you please give me permissions to share uh, share my screen? <coughs> Organizers, uh, Raveen, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm sharing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, in my life. Abhishek. Let me try presenting my screen here. Yeah, can you guys uh, view my screen? Can anyone please check with me? Both voice and screen, no issue. Yes, uh, yes, sir. thank you so much. Yeah, just a hard check it. I stopped presenting, just I check the uh, uh, system settings and all. So very warm good morning to all the people, those who are joined with me. Uh, thank you so much and thank you so much for the invite from the college of the engineering college and the department of ec i would like to personally thank the people uh, behind organizing this event i'm getting some noises uh, could you please resolve that one uh, i request you all people please turn off your microphones i request you all people please turn off your microphones i request you all yeah please thank you so much thanks for your cooperation and uh, so very warm good morning uh, this is Sati Kumar Palli. So, just you have heard about me. So, that's uh, let me give you some brief on uh, what we people do and what a startup is, how we people are going on, and what is the importance of internship. All these things we'll discuss in this session. And I personally thank uh, Dr. Noko Sinoso for inviting me. And uh, I thank all the people behind this, uh, uh, you know, those who people organizing this. So without wasting much time, I would like to get into the topic uh, basically. So I don't want to uh, discuss the technical things and all. I would like to share my journey so that you people get some insights from that. The, like uh, just reading an article or something, reading some, viewing some video or something doesn't give you much experience, much feel. So I would like to share my experience, what I have done and what I'm doing now and how things going on how hardships I have been facing and how to be successful entrepreneur and as well what is the importance of uh, simply uh, what we call internship or workshop simply and how you can add a value to your uh, academics by using internships and all that I would like to discuss with you in this morning. So I'm privileged to be here in front of you all people and presenting uh, some great insights of uh, uh, entrepreneurship and as well uh, the users of internships right so hope you people are uh, I guess you all people are 30 years right could you please give me some responses in chat box so that the session will be more interactive so I would like to discuss not a discuss I would like to interact with you people all you are simply um, passing out guys or simply you are about to pass out in a one year or six months so right how to uh, simply switch your career how to switch simply how how simple you can switch your career from uh, education background to a professional background. How you can simply transmit, uh, transition, how you can make a smooth transition from student to a professional or a uh, simply an employee. How you can transit, the transmission, how it has to be done and how smooth you can make things happen to, uh, to land on a green patch really. So let me give you some great insights. Let me give you my brief for what I did and what I am, so that you'll get some insights from my experience, I feel. Uh, so uh, myself, uh, Sati Kumar, as uh, you, the brief uh, given by uh, Dr. Nokal Srinivasan, sir. And, and after completion of my graduation, after completion of my graduation, I did uh, some small, small jobs I did. After that, uh, what I realized is, in 2011, the, my first entrepreneurial journey started in 2011. You won't believe that simply at the age of 21, at the age of 21, at the age of 21 and a half years, and the, in 2011, I have started a simple computer institute in my uh, 
area near to my area just i have started a, a simple computer institute in 2011 itself i used to teach c language and as well ms office and paint even at the time in 2010 and 11 those are very new to the people uh, the technology has taken a great rapid change at that time at the moment so i have started as uh, in institute and i used to do a job from the morning 8 to 1 o'clock and 2 to 5 o'clock and as again 6 to 10 o'clock i used to take care of this institute and i used to teach some courses like c language and as well ms office and excel all these kind of things i used to do at the age of 21 and a half years the my first entrepreneurial journey was started there in 2011 and thereafter uh, simply I was into again into my post graduation and then thereafter I entered into Hyderabad I simply ended into Hyderabad with uh, empty hands and as a degree certificate only thereafter I searched for many jobs and I joined uh, and within a four years span of time with the four years skill I was like a senior engineer in drawing around 89,000 per month within a four years of time Simply I explored the things, I took the challenges, I took the risk and simply within four years of time, I simply reached a uh, salary which I am drawing the last one, uh, 89,000 per month within four years of time. What I did is simply I learned the things, that's all. I am not a great mind, I am not an intelligent mind. The thing with me is I can do work, that's all. So if you want to be a good engineer, if you want to be a successful man, if you want to be a successful entrepreneur, you no need to be an intelligent guy, you no need to be a front page guy, you no know need to be a, no need to be a uh, great mind. But hard work always pays off. So I'm not a great mind, I simply I uh, agree with. I'm not a great mind, I'm not intelligent, but I can work hard. So hard work never fails. Even sometimes intelligence fails, but hard work never fails. So uh, thereafter, I joined in a job for a salary of 7,500 and within six months, I reached 15 and within one year, 23 and one and a half year and two years, I reached around 40K and thereafter, my growth, that means my graph, my career graph grown like anything, simply by learning the things. For suppose, if you are into your first job, you are getting your uh, moving out of a college. For suppose, within a, a six months or within a one year, you people will be moving out from your college, right? And you need you are ha you are going to be search for jobs. And if at all, if it is a campus placement, that's really great. And or else, you are going to be search jobs. Even if you place in a company, how to behave, how to learn the things, how to utilize your time, all these things matters always to for your personal growth. I'll tell you how, how we can do this. The main thing is hard work and persistence and consistency. So now my entrepreneurial journey again began in 2018 again. So I did uh, around, I worked for three companies or three to four companies I worked for. Thereafter, I am at peak of my career. I am at peak of my career and I'm drawing a good salary. I have enough money in my, my hand. So I'm simply i'm very free and getting good money at the time i got a thought again my entrepreneurial mind started thinking what i can do instead of doing this job i want to give some jobs to the people my only aim is to employ some people uh, my only aim is, in 2018 my only aim is to give jobs to 100 people that is my only dream I don't have any dreams like simply uh, earning money and having bank accounts, or having cars, and not so. So my only thought when I am quitting my job in 2018, I quit my job, high, highly paying job, high paid job. I quit my job in 2018. At the time, the thought in my mind is simply giving jobs to 100 people. That my that is my first goal which I took, and I left my high paid job with no options left simply i have some enough money for three to four months that's all right and then the real entrepreneurial journey began in my life so many odds are there many ups and many downs and many emotional blackmailing kind of things and many things happen in life when you're moving on many things will come into the picture you people have to face it so when you want to be an entrepreneur, when you want to be an entrepreneur, the first thing is you should have a vision. You should have a vision. You can see three years ahead. You can see four years ahead. If you can see four years ahead, you can see five years ahead. You can see 10 years ahead. 
then you can start off your entrepreneurial journey you can see yourself as a ceo you can see yourself as a entrepreneur you can see yourself as a something or if you can forecast something if you can forecast the market if you can forecast the business if you have an idea simply you can start off your entrepreneurial journey but many things uh, has to be considered those things we will discuss now in this session so in such a way uh, simply i quit, quit my job and uh, started this journey with one other guy and later on we made a great business uh, in one and of year we made around 30 plus lakhs of revenue we made it so there are many things are there many losses are there many uh, now we i miss it for time with the family and many things happened but all these things will be uh, simply rest of the history when you succeed right so uh, my intention is to let you know how the entrepreneur journey should be and how to start your entrepreneur journey what to have to start off your entrepreneur journey if you want to start a company if you want to be a, a startup owner if you want to uh, start a startup what kind of things you need to consider what you should have what kind of things you should uh, think of all these things you should have a clear vision for all those things let me present you a simple things based on my experience i would like to present simple things what we need to be uh, what is required what is required to be a uh, entrepreneur and what is required to start off your entrepreneur journey so let me uh, share my presentation So uh, I would like to share my screen. Uh, is my screen is visible to you, or guys? Could you please respond in chat box so that I can start off? We are visible, sir. Yes, thank you so much. Sure, thanks for checking with me. So I would like to give you some insights on entrepreneurship and as well the uses of intern internship. Right. So entrepreneurship, what it is basically? Understand the concept of entrepreneurship first. Let us understand the concept of entrepreneurship. And what are the characteristics of a successful entrepreneurs? Entrepreneurs are always not successful. When I am not successful, I don't feel that I am not a successful. But I am in a journey, so that I can leave some. I feel that I am a, have a confidence that I can see myself in a, a big position after five years. I can see. I can imagine. Uh, I have a vision. So in this journey, many odds will come and many ups and downs will be there. I can face it. So what kind of statistics, how strong you have to be to a successful entrepreneur, let me give you some insights on that. So personal characteristics and skills needed for a successful entrepreneur. So what are the characteristics, how you have to be to start off your journey? What kind of thinking you should have? What kind of thinking you should have to start your entrepreneur journey? So let me give you some brief on that. So what is an entrepreneur basically? What is an entrepreneur? And I would like to uh, congratulate and I would like to appreciate the Department of EC for conducting this kind of events uh, in a part of IIC. So really great uh, if you people can get motivation and if you people can get an idea to start up your startup and if you can get to know about the different sources where you can get some ideas and where you can start up your uh, journey. So really appreciate you people uh, for this kind of initiative. So what is an entrepreneur basically? An individual who undertakes the risk associated with the creating, organizing and owning a business. Who is the entrepreneur basically? So the entrepreneur is all about uh, who undertakes the risk. And I'll tell you uh, one thing based on my experience, sure about unsure. Sure about unsure is all about the entrepreneurship or a, simply a business kind of thing. Sure about unsure. So the things are unsure, but we, we feel that they sure they will happen. So sure about unsure. That is what entrepreneur journey really. So an individual who undertakes risk associated with creating, organizing, and owning a business. That is, that is the definition of an entrepreneur. So the first thing which I, uh, uh, which I want to make note undertakes the risk so when i left my job it is completely risk so i am at peak of my career i am at peak of my career getting good salary so at the time leaving a job is not a simple matter it is a fully emotional and psychological and uh, uh, and many things many factors comes into your mind and uh, 
you have to face the such kind of things to uh, start off your journey so that's why it, i tell you the risk the first entrepreneurship the risk taking the quality of an entrepreneur a business owner is risk taking you need to take a risk but all the time that doesn't a risk if you have a clear plan really if you have a clear plan there is no risk for sure but there will be a risk always that is why i say sure about unsure right and the personal characteristics of a successful entrepreneurs the successful characteristics what we need to have the persistence the first one is persistence if you have a persistence you can do things the off job is done really the persistence and you have to be creative and you are you should be responsible and inquisitive and goal oriented and independent and self for confident and risk taker these are the personal characteristics of a successful entrepreneur so i tell you two points from this one the risk taker self confident and goal oriented and responsible you should be responsible for what you are doing for your career or others careers also for suppose you have an idea you have started off a startup and you have employed some four or five people their careers are also in your hand your career their careers you should be responsible whatever happened you should be the responsible for whatever you take a decision whatever the decision you take you should be the responsible you need to take ups and downs you need to take failure you need to take responsibility for your failure you need to take responsibility for your employees failure and you should be you must be creative you must be creative to compete with the business competitors you must be creative to compete with the competitors and self confident you should feel that i can do this i can do this there is a, there should be a self confident you people should be self confident if you want to be a successful entrepreneur and main thing is risk taker you you should be ready to take a risk you should be ready to take a risk if you want to start his journey but all the time it is not a risk if you have a good people around you and if you have a good mentor and if you have a good uh, advisors not at all it is not a risk really and if your vision is clear it is not a risk it is a horse riding really and you should be goal oriented you should have a goal and you should work for the, your goal you should have a goal and you should work for a, your goal these are the some good characteristics of personal characteristics of a successful entrepreneur and skills needed by a successful entrepreneurs what skills we need to have you no need to be a first class student you no need to be a distinction student you no need to be a university topper you no need to be from iits or nits or you no need to be a top tier one colleges but what skills you need to have to be a entrepreneur the first thing is the first main thing if you want to start your business if you want to start your company the first thing is communication skills business is all about the communication the business is all about talking and business is all about network making some connections and communicating getting the business this is all about comes into the picture of communication so skills needed by entrepreneurs what kind of skills required to be a successful entrepreneur as i told you no need to be a tier one you are from no need to be from tier one college no need to be a from iits and iits even anyone can start a business but you should have some good communication skills don't think that communication skills means english or something english is simply a medium is simply a language the communication skills means how you present yourself how you present your business to others how you present your views to your employees how you present your ideas to your colleagues how you present your business to some uh, investors this kind of all these comes into the picture of communication skills if you have a good communication skills simply that is the main part of being an entrepreneur so the second one human relation skills human relation skills we need to have some good network human relations we should maintain some human relations from there itself we can get the business right if you have a good relations <coughs> excuse me if you have a good relations simply you can have some good business really if you have good communication if you have good relations you have a great business really that is the thing only and math skills you need to analyze the thing you need to analyze a problem you need to write a problem you need to solve that problem you should have some math skills also 
So math skills like uh, not integration and derivation and so kind of things. No need to be a good at integration, no need to be good at derivations, and no need to be a Euler's theorem, and no need to be write some uh, Newton's theorem and so. Math skills means analyzing. That means how you analyze simply, how you analyze a problem in a different approach. How you analyze the problem in a different approach, not a commonly thing, not common thinking. All people will think normally, but how you think, how you approach a problem in a different way, and how you solve a problem by analyzing it. For analyzing, we need a math skills, right? And then problem solving and decision making. As I told you, the different approach for problem solving. You need to have a different approach than others. When you compare to others, you should have a different problem solving approach and the decision making skills. So you need to take a decision, whether it is good or bad. If you take a decision, you're the responsible one. For you, your family, and as well your employees, your company, and the society to which you are serving for. The decision has to be very precise and you should have a clear idea on the decision, what you are making. And the problem solving approach, a different approach compared to others, you should have a unique approach of solving a problem. Someone thinks like some other way, someone thinks like some other way, but your solution should be a unique one so that people will come to you, your business across. So, and the decisions. And starting a business is a not a big thing really, but in odd times, closing a business is a really great thing. Closing a business at the right time, in the right direction, that is a really great thing and great decisions made by so many big tech giants. So many tech giants these days, we hear so many big companies. Those people close some re really profitable businesses to start off another business. Why they have closed and at the what time, at what moment, they have closed their businesses, what are the reasons. So that means, my intention is to let you know, decision whether it is good or bad, you should be responsible for that. You should be a decision making. You have you should have decision making skills and problem solving skills as well, and technical skills. For suppose you're starting some software business, you should have a good technical skills. Then only you can <coughs> excuse me. You can ask your employees to work on that. You, if you are starting some digital marketing uh, agency, a company, you should have some idea on digital marketing. You should be a good engineer. You should be a good digital marketer to start your company. You should have a good technical skills. One thing, if you want to start off a software journey, software company, you should not be good at writing Java or something, something. But how we can solve a problem in a programmatical approach and what is the process, those technical things minimum you should have. So even non-technical people can also uh, can also simply get success in their technical uh, companies. Non-technical people running technical companies. Really, that is why because their approach is different. They can approach technical things in non-technical way, but they have a technical knowledge. But they they are not engineers, but they will do it. They are decision makers. Really, they are problem solvers. Really, they are and basic business skills we should have but we people don't have these kind of business skills the basic business skills is how you sell your product and the first thing how you sell yourself to someone how you sell yourself to someone first suppose you are going to a interview a campus right the final thing is simply uh, making decisions on your ctc right your salary and tax and so so how you ask your salary how much you are asking based on what skills you are asking. But suppose the basic package is 3.2 or something, the cognizant offering to the freshers. If you are asking a six lakhs package, then what skills you have different from others? That means how you sell yourself. So if you have a skill, you can sell it to anyone and you can get the money. That is what basic business skill is. How to present yourself, how to present your product, how to present your idea, how to get the audience, how to attract the people, that is basic business skills we should have. If you have a skill, show your skill and attract the audience. Show your skill and attract the audience. These basic business skills we should have. So entrepreneurship and entrepreneurial process. So understand entrepreneurship and entrepreneurial process. Let us have some simple look on that. So this top intention is to make you understand the process and make you motivate. So starting a startup 
is a very good thing and these days in these days uh, many resource tech resources are available and if you have a good idea you can simply prototype it and you can make a ready uh, readily available software for your idea so many resources are available so that if you have a good thought if you have a good idea start of your journey so whatever happens no matter you are a fresher you are coming out from college and simply you are pursuing a third year start your startup now itself if at all if you are a failure one still you have one year and for suppose if you are coming out pass out batch coming out from the college or getting out from the college in 2021 these three months you have right start your journey here start your startup journey and try to put your efforts if at all if it is done that is okay if it is not done that is okay nothing will happen to you even when you are in a college when you are in a college grad when you are pursuing your graduation you can start up your businesses and you can think of your idea vision vision should be there you can visualize the things how it is going to be if you have a great idea and start your journey take some mentorship take some advices and take uh, some industry people help and ask them and try to start your i start working on your idea get some good collection of people and get your motivate your friends and together start of your journey so this kind of things has to be done to be a good entrepreneur so entrepreneurship and entrepreneur simply let me tell you the process of starting and running own one's own business that is entrepreneurship <clears throat> this involves a considerable amount of risk entrepreneurship involves a considerable amount of risk and here entrepreneur an entrepreneur is an individual who undertakes the risk associated with creating organizing and owning a business creating and organizing and owning Cre we need to create we need to organize and we need to own own a business and five steps of an entrepreneurial process i would like to let you know so that you people even one people from this group got motivated and got interest to start your journey or real help feel very happy so at the time when i am quitting my job i don't have any idea on this but i have research i have research what i am going to do i have a vision in 5 years or 6 years where i want to be i have a vision and just i quit my job and start up my journey and in this journey 2 years around 2 and a half years of journey i have faced many hurdles many odds and many things the days i passed with uh, simply not having a single penny in my hand but i am okay now because i have we have to face this kind of things but finally you feel success you will feel the flower of the success you will enjoy the flower of the success once you face the hurdles once you face the hurdles you will really taste the flower of success so five steps to be an entrepreneur process and i don't consider myself as a successful one but i am in a process that's why i'm giving some inputs to you people how to be an entrepreneur what things you should not do do's and don'ts and at the end of the session i'll tell you what are the things to be done what are the things not to be done do's and don'ts i'll tell you so five steps to be an entrepreneurial process the first one discovery concept development resourcing actualization harvesting these things to be considered when you want to start your journey so let me uh, give you some brief on this one how to discover a problem first of all uh, you have an idea you have you are facing a problem and you have an idea to solve that problem then discover the problem and try to develop the concept the st the step one is a discovery stage the stage is in which the entrepreneur generates ideas recognizes the opportunities and studies the market these are the very important things here i would like to tell you generate the ideas that means ideation recognizing opportunities whether we have opportunities or not and studies the market we need to study the market first actually to if you want to be a great entrepreneur or if you want to be a business owner the first thing you need to study the market whether we have a market for your product or not whether you have a market for your idea or not whether any other ideas are already implemented in market for such a problem you are looking for so the opportunities and you need to study the market and you need to recognize it and you need to generate ideas <coughs> the first one 
the entrepreneurs consider the following hobbies or skills hobbies or skills let me tell you very interesting thing about me so though i was a software engineer till 2018 deep inside deep inside i am a teacher i i am passionate about teaching i am passionate about teaching really so though i was a software engineer i am writing some codes of c c++ java and python ml and i used to spend my much time on coding only from morning 9 o'clock to night 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock 11 o'clock the days which i passed writing codes but deep inside deep down in my heart deep down in your mind i am a teacher i want to teach because the journey my teaching journey has started like so i'll tell you a funny things in my uh, career so that you will get you guys may get some inspired may some people may get inspired in 2006 when i joined my engineering in 2006 when i was joined my engineering college <coughs> in intermediate i was from till intermediate i studied in telugu medium itself in government school and government college itself and i was studied till in, uh, intermediate in telugu medium when i entered into uh, engineering there uh, that is a good college back then in 2010 my college is a very good college all the people from the chennai and those people used to speak uh, speak in english only no telugu word they used to speak so the lectures comes to the college and try to uh, the teachers simply they always used to use english only because they don't know telugu really if they know telugu they might have used i guess but they used to teach in english only but even at the moment even i am a good student in intermediate i got great, great percentage in intermediate i sh i shouldn't able to cope up the, with the things and the english till i uh, wonder till i wonder what is this english is really i used to stare at the blackboard and the lecture only i used to stare at the blackboard and the lecture so Uh, in early days, I used to come home and I used to cry a lot. No, mummy, I don't go to college. Please join me in a degree college. I don't go to engineering. I don't go to engineering. Daily, this is going to happen. This was going to be happen in my early days of engineering. So I I didn't even get a single word even. I didn't get a single word even. So the first class is uh, solid state physics in my engineering. The first English class is solid state physics. Uh, the great professor is a gold medalist, Mr. Rajesh. He used to come the, to the class and he used to uh, teach very well, really. But I don't know what he is teaching. Uh, as in a first bench guy, he used to sit in a first bench and he used to come and uh, simply saying my name, Satya, stand up. I used to stand up and he will ask a question. I don't even I don't understand the question really. Even I don't understand the question. I don't know what he is asking. Simply I know my name only. He used to call Satya. Simply stood, stand up, and till end of the class, till end of the lecture, I used to stand at the end when he is leaving the classroom. When he was leaving the classroom, simply used to say, "Sit." He used come, he used to come to class, and he was used to ask questions to me. But I don't know what question he is asking, what lecture he is giving, because of language problem. The days passed on, two months gone, and third month. Uh, one uh, lecture is there, Mr. Dinesh Sri Kant. He is from IIT. So he used to teach very well. He used to teach very well on uh, electronic devices and circuit circuit theory. So he is a very good teacher, really. I uh, I remember. So after his class, I am standing. I was standing outside my classroom and discussing with one of my friend that oh, this class is very good, but I don't understand anything because of language problem. It was happened. to hear those words is what it was happened to hear those words mr dinesh heard these words and asked me to come i went to him and he asked me what is your problem sir i am from telugu medium i don't get anything i am not getting anything he asked me to meet me in the library so i went to the library i went to library and waited for him for half an hour and he came and he asked me to get me the book uh, milman hackins an edc book the black pad Milman Hackins book. He, he asked me to get that one from the library. I went there and got it, and he sat be uh, in front of me, and he asked me to open the book. I opened. There is a forward is there. Forward first page is forward page is there. He asked me to read out. Just I simply re read out without any difficulty. I simply read out. I am good at reading English. I am good at reading English. I don't understand it really. I don't understand, but I can read it very well. 
So I read, read it loudly and he was amazed and he said, oh, then go to, then what is your problem? Sir, I don't understand even a single word from this page. Then he asked me, Satya, do one thing. Read it for 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, 40 times. Then finally, try to understand, try to get the meaning of each and every word so that he will easily understand. He motivated me like anything and he is the great motivation. Uh, he was given a great motivation from, from me and uh, I came back. I came back, I was motivated, I felt happy and I took two books and went home and used to study the same place for hours together, hours together, hours together. It is going, ongoing. At the time, I was good at C language. I was good, good at C language. I used to think like a programmer in first year itself. So when my C language professor comes to the class and he used to ask questions, I am the first guy to answer the question because I know the subject. I know the logic. I know the logic and I know the subject. So one day in a combined class, around 90 members in a classroom, he asked me to write a program on a board to collect the sphere of a volume, sphere, sphere and volume of a cube or something. He asked me a question. He asked me to write the question on the board and he asked me to write the program for that one. Write a program to find <coughs> volume of a sphere or something. He asked me. And then I had written the, some, something on my board, the question. The sphere spelling, I don't know really. I am from Telugu medium background. Sphere, S-P-H-E-R-E, the sphere spelling is. but by imagining simply i have written s p e a r all the classroom around 90 people are laughing at me 90 people laughing at me really at the time 90 people laughing at me because i have written wrong the spell is wrong i have spelled wrong the original spell is s p h e r e but i have written s p a r all are laughing at me and i was insulted really i felt insult at the time i took a decision to teach here at the time I take a decision, that is the first foundation for my teaching uh, interest, the hobbies. Why I am telling that hobbies or skills, hobbies or skills. The skill I want to learn is teaching. At the time, I decided to teach in a classroom of 100 or 200, 300, no matter. At the time, I went back to home and I started teaching in front of a mirror. Really, these things really I remembering now. So I used to teach like that and later on, later on, whatever the similar competition in my college, I used to be the second or first place. Even in first year, second year, third year, I got many phases in presentations and similar topics because the interest made me so. The interest or the skill or the hobby made me so. I was insulted and I started off trying to teach. And thereafter, I started a tutorial point at my home. And I used to teach the students from 9th to 9th, 10th, 8th and 6th class people. And I got some good teaching skills therein. So in such a way, my journey has started. So what I'm trying to tell you, they discover the enterprise consider the following hobbies or skills. Hobbies or skills. So the skill or hobby, deep inside I'm a teacher, though I'm a good programmer. And then the second one, consumer needs and wants. What consumer is looking for? We need to uh, discover what a consumer looking for, what is the lack in the market, so that one you need to identify. Conduct surveys and questionnaires. How you how people respond to particular kind of product, uh, particular kind of problem. Conduct some surveys and questionnaires and study demographics. So these things uh, you should consider if you want to be an entrepreneur, hobby or a skill. But suppose you, if your hobby is making some robots, if your hobby, if you have an interest, if you have an interest. Simply start up doing your company, robotics company. If you are good at or designing some <coughs> pamphlets or designing something, start your digital marketing campaign. So hobbies or skills matters here. Basically, hobbies and skills really matters. That is why I'm telling uh, I have started uh, since ID Private Limited and I have started skill to hire You can check the uh, online skill to hide.com. I'm a co-founder and I left that one after five or six months of developing. Uh, something <coughs> you can check that one how good we build an online learning platform so and uh, hobbies or skills simply that matters really and in this journey i, have, I am into the third one and uh, we are starting the fourth one also so all are running parallelly with some good amount of revenue and such kind of things uh, so no matter how hard it is you need to face it and study demographics and these things has to be considered and the second step is 
concept development the concept development entrepreneurs prepare the following in this step develop a business plan the first thing you need to prepare a business plan the first thing for an entrepreneur is to develop a business plan a detailed proposal describing the business idea if you have an idea <coughs> write down the write down something write down something about your idea how you want to approach the market how you want to improve the business how you want to develop a software how you want to reach the people <coughs> write a detailed proposal describing the business idea and the very important thing is choose location for the business is the business online or does it have a physical location for customers to visit or to purchase products services or combinations the thing is to choose your location online or offline if it is a physical you should have some physical setup or something no matter even a single room one cabin even how amazon and how apple got started you people might have no <clears throat> right so in a single room in a single cabin your work station your room is your first location and beside if the idea will need a patent or trademark first suppose if you have a great idea if this this idea is not at all existed anywhere simply try to go for a patent if you have some if you want to get a trademark you can get a trademark also and step 3 is a resourcing this the stage in which the entrepreneur identifies and acquires the financial human and capital resources needed for the venture startup in this stage we need to find the identifies and acquires the financial human and capital resources finance things are very important for this kind of <coughs> startup journey you need to manage your finance you need to manage the finance of your office you need to manage the finance for your employees right finance is very crucial thing in startup journey right uh, in this two years of journey i have grind with no single rupee in my hand but again i got stabilized Uh, but you should not never give up you should not never give you shouldn't give up don't give up at any moment of time if you face any difficulty even your or even simply you are facing a typical or very deep or financial problems please don't give up your idea don't give up your business don't give up your startup because things comes slowly into your pictures things come slowly it may take some time it may take 2 years it may take 3 years it may take 4 years but finally you will taste the flavor of success so the financing is very important and the human that means the team is very great thing for startup the team should be a great one if you build a team you build a company you build a team you build a company and finding a co-founder is also a great thing you need to sync with the people you need to find the people those who have the same frequency as you same thought process like you if you have a say, if some other person has same thought process like you join with them as a co-founder or something and the financial things you need to manage it very well without wasting even a single penny no one give you money right you need to uh, develop your idea you need to market it you need to get the business then only you will get money till then your financially zero so try to make finance very better and so entrepreneurs contemplate the following so if your idea is a very great one if you want to find some investors for that identify potential investors venture capitalists are there when venture capitalists are there so many venture vcs are there so try to approach them and or simply apply for loans by showing your business ideas uh, or simply get some grants from uh, so loan sanctioning uh, authorizations will be there and the, get the some financial assistance from the institutions or hire the employees hire the good employees who can work as a owner not as an employee if you choose a people those who works for a salary your company will not grow if choose a people who can work like their own business then only your business will grow like anything hire employees i feel like hire some capabilities hire some capabilities who can serve you who can work for you like their own work not for the salary finding the early bird employees into the company finding a co-founder really a great thing and toughest job really if you made a mistake in finding a co-founder if you made a mistake in resourcing that means hiring employees 
you will be in loss and you will be wasting your valuable time and then actualization the process this is the main thing the stage which the entrepreneur operates the business and utilizes the resources and achieve the its goals so you have an idea you have an idea you have a some co-founder you have some employees now the actualization that everything comes into the picture now everything comes into the picture now so the stage in which the entrepreneur operates the business and utilizes resources to achieve its goals and objectives so grand opening of the business that means online and offline day to day operations of the business so you need to monitor day to day operations so we need to set a goal for a day no need to waste your time you have to utilize your time and resources very well for suppose three employees you have three into eight 24 hours of work you have to do it in a day if you have a three employees three into eight hours 24 hours of work you have to do it in a day, in a day. so how good you are then if you don't utilize your resources very well then you are a failure and day to day operations you have to keep on keep an eye on that and then the step five is harvesting the stage in which the entrepreneur decides on ventures future growth development or dismiss dismiss also a very important thing <coughs> you have an idea you have an employees and you have resources it and you are developing and at the at some point of time you got to know that your idea is not at all going to work then try to wisely say no and try to wisely dismiss and demise this thing is other one i'll tell you so the decides on ventures future growth and development or demise so development how we can develop your business the future growth how we can see your company in this coming two years or simply if you find your idea is not at all working out simply you can dismiss you can wind up your business that is also the greatest thing really the entrepreneurs consider the following so future plans for business expansion to additional locations company to change the structure these things in always thing step so now starting a business is simply understand the procedures and requirements for starting a business those are the five steps to be a uh, entrepreneur we need to follow and in starting a business we need to understand the procedures and the requirements for starting a business starting a business requires a development develop a business plan first your idea and the market and the revenue how you want to make revenue how you want to make revenue what is your business plan what is your revenue plan what is your hiring plan and the next one is acquire finances how you get some money to into your company to bear the expenses how you can manage your finances how you get the money to the finance how you get the money to your daily finances so that is a very important thing we need to get some some amount to start your business business plan some finance and meet legal requirements if at all if there any legal requirements company registration and uh, something some legal requirements go for the legal requirements so first thing develop a business plan give me a moment please let me take some water develop a business plan a business plan is detailed proposal that describes a new business a business plan is detailed proposal that describes a new business so that should your business plan should describe your entire business model that means where to start where to end where to operate and where to perform some kind of operations everything has to be there in a business proposal that is your business plan if you have an idea of creating a robot for some particular application from scratch from the scratch from the getting the requirement from the consumer till inferences where you use that one till that one you need to have a clear and detailed plan and <clears throat> business plans will be presented to potential investors and lenders money lenders or investors you need to present your business plan to the uh, potential investors who can in, uh, impress by your idea and who can invest money in your company getting investments are really great thing so if your idea is really interesting really impressive people invest in you invest in your capability invest in your company and you can present your business plans to lenders to the banks like money lenders like banks loan giving agencies or if they are impressed they will give some loan so that you can start up kickstart your business 
<coughs> most business plans are 30 plus pages but i recommend only to have 30 pages of plan simply have 10 to 15 pages of clear vision what you want to do that's all what you want to do how you want to do how you want to get a money how you want to spend money that's all that is what business plans are really and purpose of a business plan uh, what is the purpose of creating a business plan or generating a business plan or, or writing a business plan here the purpose of business plan is to use it to obtain the financing if you want to get the finance for your idea you need to present your business plan so you have an idea of creating some machinery <coughs> You should have a good plan how you want to do it what are the expenses and from where you get the material to where you uh, produce that one to who is the consumer these things has to be there in a plan so if you present this kind of plans the investors can easily attract they'll give you only one minute of time most of the investors these days giving 30 seconds or one minute of time to present your business idea there are around thousand members of investors will be there Simply they'll give you half minute, half minute of time. You need to present your business in a half minute of time. That means how well organized your plan is. Simply <coughs> within five to six words, five to six sentences, you need to present your business to attract investors. So this business plan will help organize and analyze data critical to the new business. Analyzing and organizing. If you want to be more organized, you should have a business plan and provides a startup proposal this business plan used to provide a startup proposal it provides an outline of follow outline to follow when starting the business so this give you an idea a total overview a big picture of your startup a business plan give you a big picture of your startup where to start where to how to follow and where to end how to manage the things how to organize how to analyze how to get the finance all these things comes into the picture when you have a business plan, a readily available business plan, and which is very precise and very concise and very clear, the, the first objective, the, your business objective, your business objective should reflect your idea. That's all. That's half done. Within half minute or a minute, you need to present your business idea to the investors. And the components of a business plan. In business plan, they should be like, Executive summary, product and service plan, management team plan. So executive summary, brief one to one, one to two pages description of the key points of each section of the business plan. In business plan, what we have that is executive summary and present product or service being offered. What services you are going to offer to the clients that is the product or service plan and management team plan, qualification of the entrepreneurs, qualification of the uh, any uh, partners who may be involved in the business venture so management team should be there and what services you offer and the executive summary these are the part of uh, the, the components of a business plan and the components what should be there industry and market analysis first you need to have some market analysis the industry analysis and the market analysis analyze the customers analyze your competitors analyze the industry analyze the demographic graphs and analyze the geographic and economic data. So all these things comes into the mind when you want to have a market analysis. And then operational plan includes all processes involved in the producing or delivering the product. So operational plan is very important. How you operate, how you operate your business, all the processes, how you going to produce or how you delivering the product to your customer. The operational plan has to be very clear and organization plan key management personnel, key employment policies and management philosophy of the business. These things should be there in business plan. And then market plan. Describe how the business will make it customers aware of its products. How you reach your customers. How you reach your customers is very important. How you reach your customers is really very important. When you have a great team, when you have a finance and when you have a product ready, if you don't have a marketing plan, if you don't have a market, what is the use of that? Marketing is very important. So describe how you want to reach your customer, in which way you want to reach your customer, online, offline, physical, or visiting door to door, like that, the marketing plan should be very clear. And growth plan, presence of plan, future expansion of the business. When you are starting your business, 
you should have a growth plan also and financial plan also <clears throat> it is very important includes financial statements that will help forecast the future financial health of the business the financial plan is very important and finance the business how you can finance a business if you are a college grad you can get many opportunities these days come uh, indian government offering many things your startup india program is there so you can present your idea you can get the investment you can get the funds and if you have a great idea in a college itself you can get the uh, <coughs> patents and you can get the amount some amounts will be sanctioned for you to develop the prototypes these kind of many opportunities now there in these uh, uh, developed and many operation or many opportunities are there in these past uh, five to six years so people are simply focus startup india program is really a uh, great initiative to encourage un entrepreneurs to make things in india only make in india pro make in india and startup india collaboratively making things right to develop products in india itself for consumer needs and contact financial agencies for loans grants and financial assistance insurance companies small business administration banks and credit unions <coughs> so we can get the finance like from the family from the friends other businesses or the from the employees and you can share give the shares to them you can manage the finance in such a way <coughs> so and the legal environment contracts and joining glass and taxes permit permission certification of or licenses these things you need to look for these things will happen smoothly if you have a simply if we approach an editor auditor so trademarks and copyrights the more <clears throat> more legal documents to product to protect your business you have a great idea you need to get the patent you should have a patent then only no one can steal your idea so uh, protects a business name or logo trademark patents protects the invention of a product or proceeds from theft and copyrights protects creative works liter literary uh, musical dramatic artistic works for copyright you can get it is the so that is about uh, simply entrepreneurship if you want to start an entrepreneur uh, journey entrepreneur journey you need to have all these kind of things if you start your own company you no need to be a iit or you no need to be a tire from a tire one college if you have all these kind of thing if you have a clear vision if you can see a market two years ahead if you have a great vision you can start up your journey no need to be a first class student if you want to start your journey and open your journey if you want to be a entrepreneur if you want to be a startup owner no need to be a, a great mind but you have a great vision right so these all things you need to have if you want to start your own business or own startup so these days many uh, organizations in india government organizations providing some good amounts uh, to the startups to make them uh, to make them encourage or uh, encouraging the startups and, and entrepreneurs and funding them and uh, making india proud really so this is about the entrepreneurial journey entrepreneurship and entrepreneur as an entrepreneur what to look for and what to do and what not to do be clear at the finance be clear at the finance and finding a, a great co-founder that is a great thing finding uh, hiring the people hiring a good people is one thing finding a good co-founder and managing the finance those things you need to do and do not start a startup if you don't want to face a risk if you want to face a risk and if you want to success if you want to taste the flavor of a success start a business really uh, doing a job to giving a job the transition is very really great thing really so uh, doing under some management and giving some jobs to the employees the transition is a very great thing really if you want to uh, start a business try to find the potential market for your idea what is your idea whether it can be a successful or not take some advice from the mentors industry people and interact with them connect uh, manage your network and try to get some good network good people interact with the good people present your idea with known people trusted people and then finalize your idea and write a business plan and try to kick start of your business right so for this kind of thing and as well for your careers also your um, 2021 passed out and third year 2022 passed out candidates right so for you people 
internships uh, is very important thing these days you people have been hearing the word internship 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 what is this really how it can be useful to you how it can be useful to you what we you people can get from internship how it will be an added advantage to your resume how it will be useful to get a good job how it will attract the employer how it will how it will give you the knowledge all these things i would like to discuss with you <coughs> So I would like to tell you what an internship is. Even these days, the IITians in IITs and NITs, people from the first year itself, they are doing internships in different companies. First year one and two internships, second year one internship, third year two internships, the fourth year. While they are uh, continuing with the academics in a part time, one hour, two hours time, they are doing their internships. They are getting much exposed to the industry. While they are coming out from the college, they will be paying. Around 10 lakhs, 15 lakhs, 30 lakhs of, of salaries because of that experience they are having in internships. So an internship is a short-term work experience. Really, the word you need to understand: short-term work experience. How the work is going to be when you want to enter into a company as an employee? The short-term work experience offered by companies and other organization for people, usually students, but not always. Others also will offer <coughs> internships. to get some entry level exposure to a particular industry or field it is a much it is as much of learning experience as it is work so uh, internship is all about a short term work experience a learning experience so in college what do people do in college you go you people go to the test books you write exams you get some good marks and you'll pass but what is the thing is what you learn in a classroom will not be there in your company what you learn in the classroom fully contrast to industry that's why industry innovation councils industry interaction councils <coughs> um, industry interaction seminars these things happening to make people aware of what will be there in a industry what will be there in a company right so internship is a short term work experience it is like a experience for suppose you are a owner you are a owner of a company you are a owner of a dosa building for suppose i'll tell you you are a one rafi dosa building right so you want to hire a dosa master you want to hire a dosa master so how you look for a people you you will take a experienced people why because you want to grow you want to popular you want to get popularity simply what you do simply you will get a experienced people so that they will make things go in a smooth manner you will get a popularity in same way people also the companies also employers also looking for a experienced guys but they don't ask you five years of experience as a fresher no not at all but in a four years of academics if you have two or three internships that means a work, work experience six months six months six months parallelly six months around three internships you have it around 1.8 years of intensive experience one hour or two hours per day you have one and a half years experience with the company then you will you will land in a green patch you really you land in a great job so internship is a really important it is a short term work experience offered by the companies or organization so this is a entry level exposure to a particular industry entry level exposure to a particular industry so while working you learning learning while working internship of uh, main motto is learning while working and exposure to many other domains that is what and many internships leads to a full time job offers even intel and qualcomm and many other big companies the internships will be converting into full time job offers they will check you they will check you your capability and they will train you and they will give you full time offer that is what really happens uh, in these days really right uh, such things are going to be happen so for your case also if you are coming out or to be coming out in next year try to get some good two or three internships or one internship at least to get some good exposure to get some work experience with the industry people so what do you do why your internships are important why internships are very important in our academics so as an intern you get a chance to work side by side with accomplished industry professionals and get a pretty good idea of what an entry level role might entail so how an entry level job would be in your career that you learn in internship so you 
it is it will happen to work with the industry experts it will happen to work with the industry experts you will get a chance to work with the industry professionals so that the knowledge you can gain and you can get the experience you can get to know how to behave with the people how to communicate with the people you can create your own net own uh, network with the fellow interns and the uh, <coughs> seasoned leaders and the higher authorities you can get some good communication also you can learn the pros how to behave how to organize yourself how to organize your time how to talk with the management people all these kind of things easily you can get it by internship so that when you enter a real time job uh, <coughs> after graduation simply you'll cope up with things very easily uh, that is why internship is very important in, in as internship have gotten more and more common employers expect to see them on resumes so these days employers looking for internships on your resumes they are looking for good internships on your resumes if you have internship experience there is no need to be train you no need to be train you on behavioral aspects no need to train you on writing an email and no need to train you on uh, how to behave with the employees no need to train on agile things so simply people looking for uh, internships uh, on your resumes applicants with previous work experience are much more competitive than those who have only the relevant course work course work is different and experience is different so people looking for the employers looking for those have course work along with internships those who have internships on your resume will be having more priority so internships offers you the chance to not just build the relevant skills and learn about the field but to demonstrate those skills and industry acumen on the job what would be the on the job what are the required demanding skills so you are studying a python but the same python we don't use in industry we use different python advanced python python in other levels not the basic things what you are learning <coughs> so you will get to know what kind of learning you should inculcate in you to get the jobs say so and for most employees for most employers even ones who are extremely adept at hiring new grads nothing quite makes up for real life experiences so they are looking for experienced guys experienced guys means in internship those who are, have gone through the internships people looking for the companies they'll pay you high so fresh grads those who have a reasoning skills they'll pay 2.8 lakhs but if you have four or five experiences work experiences they will pay you 6 lakhs of money right in such a way you can uh, sell yourself i have an experience in this company i have work experience in this company i have interacted with these people i can do this one i can do this one so can so that you can offer me a 6 lakhs as a fresher you can ask them if you have a good experience right so these days what companies looking companies also use internship as a talent pipelines to fill their own full time position to their full time positions they are hiring interns they are hiring interns and they are converting into full time jobs because the interns will get exposed to uh, that new environment that technology that domain that organization so that they'll offer you a full time positions if you are good at doing for employers internships are lot of things super extended interview a training program and frequent a smart way to hire a open roles internships also or simply uh, the way of hiring for open roles and it is a training program they take you and they give you training on 3 months they give you one module to work on for next 3 months if you are doing very good on that module they will hire you as a permanent employee right so the companies are using internships as a talent pipeline they are taking interns and making them permanent hires in short internships can help you figure out what you want to do with your career and then make it easier to land your first full time job in that industry right help you to figure out what you want to do with your career and make it easier to land your first job right in such a way simply you can find internships internship is very important uh, to as a student as, along with the course work to land on a green patches and to get into a good companies to understand the process of a industry to understand the requirements of the industry to meet the industry requirements the in internships are very important as a student and even these days even employees even 
if you want to switch your career from uh, embedded engineer to data science, even five years or six years uh, experience of people also doing internships. Why? Because they want to explore, explore the things. Even five years, six years, people, industry experience of people also doing internship to switch their careers into other domain. That is the greatest advantage. Internship is the greatest advantage to get to know about the uh, industry demands. And companies also use internship as a time pipeline that is discussed. And benefits of internship. The benefits of internships like you can get real time job experience, research experience, and access to variety of tasks and developments, and mentorships, and help and guide career goals, and create a professional network, and build strong resumes, secure good references and recommendations, transition to a permanent job, and build confidence. These are the benefits, some benefits, many benefits are there. You will get first one, job experience, real time job experience. If you are hired in a research lab, you can get some research experience. And you will be having access to different departments, different equipments in industry. And you will, the main thing is mentorship. You are good to your manager in internship. He will endorse you for other jobs. He will recommend you for your other jobs. The mentorship means simply they will guide you what to do, what not to do. So that as a fresher with the empty mind, if you have a good mentorship, if you have a good mentor, you will be a good engineer for sure, good employee for sure. And then help guide careers, <coughs> career goals. Uh, this uh, internship will help you to guide uh, and go through your career goals. And you can create a professional network. Once you enter into a company as an intern, you can have relations with your colleagues and relations with the managers and the higher level. And you can net create a network. And you can build a strong resume. People looking at internships in our resumes. And if you work under some managers in internships, you will get some good references and recommendations as well. And if you are good at your internship, that will lead to a permanent job. And you can build your confidence that I can do, I am ready for industry. These things are the benefits of internships. So internship is a very important and try to get one or two internships, minimum one internship or training program uh, so that you can expose to the industry and you can get the great insights of industry and industry demand so that you can make yourself ready for the industry. These are the benefits. So uh, these are internship benefits and that is what internship and what entrepreneurial journey, what entrepreneurship is. So uh, this is all about some uh, glance of this today talk. Uh, this is from my experience and as well um, the process of what I'm going through. So that's all from my side. Hope you enjoyed, uh, hope you learned something, hope you got motivated. Uh, try to uh, post some questions here. Try to post some questions so that uh, I can answer. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. And now the students can interact related to internships and startup. Any questions and uh, any suggestions, sir? So you can discuss uh, with the expert. Yes. Uh, the participants are uh, encouraged to ask the questions or any kind of if you have any idea of how to approach the people and if you have a great idea how to start the things and if you want to look for some internships and where to look for. Where to look for in you can look for, LinkedIn you can look for, and Naukari you can look for, and many internshala a good one platform for internships and uh, uh, Spark Foundation, many of them are there, so you can look for internships. Just directly you can approach the companies online and offline. In these days you can approach the companies online, you can put a request to them, write a cover letter. I am from so and so college, I would like to do internship on your company. Could you please provide an opportunity to explore the things and that will be beneficial to company also. You can write a cover letter and you can send a mail. So that if they are impressed with that, you can write your skill set. I'm good at Python, I'm good at machine learning, I'm good at something. So give me an opportunity to work with you so that I can get exposed. You can write a letter to, you can write a mail to uh, some employers and you can uh, get opportunities. Or you can search in online, you can apply. And before to apply, things you need to understand is you should have minimum a programmatical approach, programmatical knowledge, in any program language, or good reasoning skills, good logical things. No need to be a good programmer if you want to get internship, you want to get a job. So if you have good logical things, you can get a job really. Yes, uh, 
our participants, if you, you can ask me uh, some questions or you can post me some questions uh, so that we'll have some good interaction. If you have a great interest, if you have a great interest uh, to do something, uh, start off doing something. Start off uh, simply think of your idea. What is your idea? How we can uh, start my idea into action? The ideation, ideation is very important. Discuss your idea with the some three to four good people who are technically skilled and start your idea, working on your idea, and uh, start uh, gather the people. Two or four, two or three friends, you can start thinking of the same uh, idea and start your start your work on your idea. Such kind of things, so you can do it. And if you want to get an internship, try to approach the people, try to approach the employer, try to uh, get some attention of the employer. So try to write your skills. What is your skill so that the employer can contact you? In such a way, you can. Uh, approach the employer and you can get the internships that will be more in, um, interesting things you know of coursework in your coursework if you complete one or two internships that will be fetched to you uh, while you are landing in your first job the nowadays a majority of the cognizant teachers they are asking about internships uh, how le how level best you have done yes, so yes. the internships uh, introduced in the curriculum is for that purpose so you should take care about internship even though you have done earlier in second year once again in summer uh, free of cost uh, some companies are giving you please enroll that is a value added for your uh, resume so just uh, completion of the course is different and internship in which what you people learned and how level best you people are developing skills skill set enhancement of your skills writing a code instantaneously given a task on this spot you are able to these all are the skill set so uh, during internship they will uh, you have to learn in that angle so that uh, you will be stabilized while facing the interview so these all are my submissions uh, and uh, the students are advised to interact with the speaker regarding uh, startups and internships uh, and other uh, avenues also so please interact another five minutes to go 12 30 we will wind up and uh, now it is the turn of students and faculty to interact with our resource personnel such a kumar and i would like to tell you yeah, and i would like to tell you uh, these days uh, the employers are only looking for experienced candidates they don't want to spend money on training they don't want to spend money on training you people. They are looking for the people though who have gone through the training, training like internship. Simply in your internship, simply company people will guide you to do some tasks, right? That is the greatest learning. While you are doing some tasks, if you learn something, those will be useful for you really. So the textbook knowledge is different and industry knowledge is different really. So when you apply your thoughts to solve a problem, uh, that is what industry requires. So how business can be benefited from you, how business can be benefited from your company looks for, right? So that you should expose or simply you can uh, showcase your skills. This is I can do, this I can do. So I say simply I'm good at Python. I say I simply I, I'm good at Python. The recruiter will ask me how it would be advantage or how it would be beneficiary to me, how you can solve a problem a business problem with the python he will say a simple problem and he will ask me how he can approach this business problem with the python then simply you need to prototype it and you need to give a solution such kind of approaches you need to uh, start doing and i have found second years guys are really good at doing some python programming and all hope you people are good at uh, doing things so <clears throat> hope you people are good at the programming and all so Good, being good at programming is different and applying your skills to solve a problem is different. Try to solve an industry use case and try to get the insights. What problems you are facing, what are the roadblocks and how you are solving those roadblocks and how you are approaching other people to get the solutions. These all things come to the picture of 
internship. So you will be assigned to a task. Some inputs will be given by the manager or the lead. And how you are approaching that business problem by your technical skills and what are the roadblocks and how you are clearing those. These things uh, will make you stronger, make you confident. If you can solve a problem, if you can solve a problem, you will be more confident, right? You will be solving the problem, you will be more confident. Yes, I did this problem. I did solve this problem. You will be more confident. Then you can uh, tell to someone that this I did in my internship, this I exposed to, this technology I exposed to, this technology and this application I did for that particular company, they recognized me, they have given me recommendations. If you have good recommendations, that also will be useful for you people. Right. So if you have any questions, you can post me in chat box. Yes, Thank you, sir. Thank you for your suggestions and your presentation is very well, sir. And uh, you have mainly provided the gap between the industry and the education, sir. What the students learning? How to get placed into a company? What are the basic requirements? What is the importance of startup? Everything. Thank you for your suggestions, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks for the invite, and I would like to thank the Department of PC, Mathis Engineering College, for inviting me and having me here. And thank you so much. Thank you all. Uh, you all have a great day. Thank you very much, sir, for valuable uh, inputs, sir. Lot varanda power. And our people, I think, uh, beneficial uh, regarding internships and starts up, uh, start up, sir. And uh, I request all uh, third year students to join in the afternoon session. Your alumni association uh, experts will discuss with you regarding opportunities, sir, and startups uh, with a different uh, perspective. Please join uh, with the new link to be transmitted. Sharp 1.55 p.m. Please uh, join and a discussion forum it is not a, it is an interactive session please interact with abhay joshi and pavan kumar and om sri vatsava these three are alumni secretary treasurer and members of matrasri please join 155 pm all of you third year engineering students ec i thank you i thank all of you for uh, sparing your valuable time for this uh, august gathering and august event on the banner of IAC. So this task was given to EC department and it is uh, uh, deliberated successfully. I thank uh, college management and to support this event in a big way. And I thank Dr. D. Hanumantaragaru and uh, all faculty members of all departments, including other engineering departments, IAC coordinators, IAC members, and uh, all student members also for your uh, sparing your valuable time. Please extend one more hour in the evening afternoon session, uh, 45 minutes to 50 minutes. Uh, it will be useful to you how to start up and how to approach. All these things will be done by Abhay Joshi and Pavan. All these, uh, please join by 1.55 p.m. Thank you, Vananda. We are closing this session now. Thank you.